The trading volume was low ahead of publication of the macroeconomic statistics from the US. Traders were selling the American currency in anticipation of the pessimistic data on the jobs market conditions in the US. The demand for safe haven assets increased and the yen managed to surge to a three-week high. The US dollar was trading in bearish buys, particularly against the yen. Overall, this downfall was predictable, as in October the American currency was under overbought conditions. The greenback needed to correct its movement after the Fed had reduced the interest rate. Today's reports on the business activity are of major importance, as they may have a significant impact on the further monetary policy decisions of the US financial regulator. Later in the day, four Fed policymakers will deliver speeches. They are expected to provide their views on the recent macroeconomic statistics. Meanwhile, the non-farm payrolls report showed an increase of 128,000 jobs, which exceeded analyst expectations. It means that the economy shrugged off the negative effect of the recent General Motors strike that could seriously affect the jobs growth in the manufacturing sector. At the same time, the unemployment rate increased slightly but remained at the lowest level in the past 50 years. Dollar buys were encouraged by this news. Shortly after the publications, the US dollar index advanced to 97.43. A new wave of buy deals pushed the euro dollar pair to the downside, so it did not manage to break the level of 1.12. After falling across the board, the American dollar weakened against the Canadian dollar as well. Downward correction was seen in the dollar versus the Canadian dollar pair. However, today's macroeconomic statistics from the US provided support to the greenback and it resumed a rally against the loonie. In the middle of the American session, the quotes returned to 1.3179. For now, the Canadian dollar has no reason for recouping losses. The Bank of Canada is less optimistic about the economic outlook. It downgraded the GDP growth forecast for the nearest two years. Besides, the policymakers do not rule out monetary policy easing. A rise in oil prices may help the Canadian dollar gain ground. Market participants paid little attention to the fact that Donald Trump is facing a risk of impeachment. After publication of the jobs data, quotes may start trading sideways, waiting for new signals from the Fed. The known farm payrolls may prompt the regulator to put rate cuts on hold until next spring. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.